You know I'm no stranger to running LLMs locally, especially for coding purposes, but you need a lot of hardware like I have here, like I have over here. And while that's all fun and good, there's models like this one, Kimi K2 Instruct, that you need a massive amount of storage and memory. This one is over a terabyte in size on disk. And while you could potentially run it on a 5090 with a 1.8 token quantization, you're gonna lose a lot of quality there. Maybe we'll do that another day, but today I wanna compare running one of the most popular Frontier models for coding, Claude Sonnet 4.5 to Kimi. And since I'm not gonna be running this locally, I'm gonna be using another tool that's going to allow me to do that just by switching over a little toggle right here. This is called Deep Agent Desktop. And those of you with a keen eye might recognize this. It's a fork of VS Code, but this is AI first and agent first. Look at all the models it has. Sonnet 4.5 is right there, but so is Kimi K20950, which is an open source model. Sonnet 4.5 is closed. By the way, Deep Agent comes from Abacus AI. This is a tool that I've used quite extensively for a while now to do image generation, video generation, basically allows me to pay like one monthly fee and I can use all these different tools like this is Magnific, which is a very expensive tool if uh, you know what that is. It allows you to upscale creatively and get crazy shots like this. Claude Sonnet, Grok 4, Claude Haiku. Basically anything new that comes out is gonna be available automatically for you right here. You don't need a new subscription, but one of their tools right here is called Deep Agent Desktop and it's included in the price. So I downloaded it to check it out and it has a couple of different modes. One mode is this right here, which is the VS Code fork, but it has a bunch of AI first features like chat mode and the CLI. The CLI is like this. You can talk to it on the command line and the agent works on your code. So as a test, instead of doing some simple portfolio website, a generic thing that's really easy and it's a one page website, not even an application, I wanted to create an actual app that I would use. And I've been thinking about creating one for links. When I post links at the bottom of the videos, you can check those out. They're direct direct links and I have no control over them and I want to be able to have kind of like my own bit.ly in a way. Now if you want to try to create an architecture and a project structure for a coding project, I'm going to give you a little trick. First, you tell an LLM what you want to make, what technology stacks you want to use and have it actually give you a prompt. Use the LLM to generate the prompt for you. So here, I want to create a link management application similar to Bitly, but my own. Give me a prompt that I would use with a coding agent that would be a one-shot prompt, including all the details that I would use to generate this application. And we're going to use Next.js with a database, but we're going to skip the cache and we're going to skip ClickHouse, which is Vercel's analytics tool in case it decides to use. Let's go simple. So first, you let it think about that and notice I'm using GPT-5 thinking here through Abacus. And it's going to come out with its own prompt. This is going to be a long prompt. You don't want to type this out by hand. Maybe you do. I don't know. It's up to you, but it's going to be pretty detailed. It's going to give you the tech stack, what components are going to be installed with, along with it, uh, core functionality and features, link management, basic analytics, authentication, data model. This is for the database and for the repository layer, API layer, all this stuff, validation rules, environmental variables. This is all stuff that you need to provide to the LLM to give you a good response and to give the agent all the information it needs to be able to one shot this whole application. So let's paste this. I'm going to go to my deep agent here and I can press tab to select a different model. We're going to go with Sonnet 4.5 for the first round and then I'm going to go Kimi for the second one to see which one is better. Kimi is supposed to be a really good open source one. Let's paste that. And yeah, there's my whole prompt right there. And it kicked things off and it started chewing away at all the tasks automatically. This is gonna take a while, so I'll be back. All right, I recorded oh, what happened after I came back here. So I'm just gonna comment through it. But this is actually kind of crazy. I one shotted the whole thing. The only issue I ran into was I didn't have Docker running and it used a Docker image to be able to create the database for me. So I started that up and told it it was running again. And check this out, fully functional application with authentication that works. This is kind of why people like using Claude Sonnet 4.5. Amazing. So then I created a URL here. Click create link. It gave me a little bit of an invalid input error, but it ended up working. And there's my new link. Look at that. Localhost. There's the short URL right there. I'm going to go to it. Boom. There's the redirect to deepagent.abacus.ai and it works. I cannot believe where we are right now. This is crazy. I mean, every time I do this, it's like some parts are pretty amazing when it works, like when it works immediately. But of course, Sometimes it doesn't work and I spend all day troubleshooting what the AI agent did. But this time 
it blew me away because it just worked. Now it's time to try Kimi. All right, I've created a blank new folder in my code folder and I've opened it up in Deep Agent Desktop right here. We're in code mode, not in chat mode. And I wanna go over here and pop open the secondary sidebar to open up my agent on the side. Instead of chat, I'm gonna select agent over here. And down here, I'm gonna select Kimi. I'm giving it nothing. I'm just giving it <laughs> the uh, blank folder to work on. Paste in my gigantic prompt. You are a senior full stack engineer. Build me an application, blah, 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 and go. All right, here we go. I've actually never used Kimi K2. It's big, all right? Um, I don't have that much hardware to run this on. So this is another reason why a tool like this that you pay a monthly fee for, you can get to use this open source model along with all the other ones you want. Is Kimmy worth it over Sonnet? We're about to find out. But it's already chugging away and creating all these files. And it's running really fast on servers that are hosted somewhere else. Keep that in mind. Since your code is being generated somewhere else, it's now going to be leaving your local system. I'm just amazed at how well, it's done. Uh, I'm just amazed at all these files that are created to support this project. Pretty cool stuff. And look at all that work it did. Well, I'm not going to show you the details of it. It's just too much to look at. But in the end, it tried to run it, but it couldn't. It started failing because it can create these entire code bases, but it can't open up the right terminal. So I'm going to have to run that manually, which is npm install. No such file directory. Package.json is right there. Oh, it created a users folder at the top and then it recreated the directory for some reason, the directory structure to get to my project. Okay, sure. That was weird. <laughs> NPM install. As long as it works, I can copy this stuff out. It's okay. Invalid package name. I'm going to reopen this folder in here so that we have it at the first level. Those of you that are familiar with this process might know exactly what's coming, the back and forth, but hopefully not. This is just what happens with AI coding tools and it's pretty frequent occurrence, which is why I was so shocked that the other one worked from the first try. Okay, so I pasted the error in, it found the issue right away, it says, and it's gonna try to do NPM install. Let's see if it does it. I think the whole directory structure is confusing it. I'm gonna move everything into the top level directory of the project. I don't know why it decided to recreate everything. But we don't ask why when we're vibe coding. We know why. NPM install. Let's see if that works. Nope. Let's give Kimmy one more try here. Something's going on with this context here and I'm not quite sure what. It's not opening the right shell environment to be able to run NPM install automatically like it should. So I'm gonna do it manually here. I'm gonna accept the change it made to see if that actually fixes it and do NPM install. That's weird. I can see that this is not right. It's not types dot react dom, it's types slash react dom. So strange. That's a hallucination right there. Hopefully that's it. It's installing something now. Okay, NPM run dev. Come on. Hey, look at that. Localhost 3000, it started. So there was a little bit of a glitch here. It used a period instead of a slash. Not sure why, but there it is. And we get an unhandled runtime error. Input is not defined. So at this point, what happens is you go back and you present the error to the agent, whatever agent you're using. And you do this on rinse and repeat for, it could be quick. It could be a long time, you never know, but this is a pretty familiar process to Vibe Coders at this point. Can we judge the difference between Cloud Sonnet 4.5 and Kimi at this point? Well, based on this experiment, yes, we can. Looks like we are still a little bit ahead with Cloud Sonnet than with Kimi. But at least it's nice to be able to try things out and have a choice like that, to be able to have access to all these different models through this tool. Now, Deep Agent is not just Deep Agent Desktop, the VS Code fork that I showed you. There's also Deep Agent in the browser that has a ton of other capabilities. And I want to say thanks to Deep Agent, and they're sponsoring this video. So I want to mention a few things about what Deep Agent can do. And then let me know in the comments down below if you want to see anything else, any of these other tools 
uh, a deep dive in any of these. You've heard of computer use at this point. Deep Agent actually has the ability to use your computer. It also integrates with Gmail, Google Workspaces, Slack, Jira. So it can automate all those processes for you. It can post tweets for you if you wanted to. Make sure they're inflammatory, just like, you know, you're supposed to. <laughs> I'm just kidding. My tweets are pretty tame compared to some other folks. Of course, it can do deep research. It can create presentations, charts, docs, reports for you. And like I mentioned before, video, lip sync video as well, image generation, and all these models are available in the browser as well. I'm gonna put some links down in the description with the pricing. If you get all those different subscriptions separately, it's gonna cost a ton of money, hundreds of dollars a month. But Chat LLM Teams combines everything together and includes Deep Agent as well. So thanks to them for sponsoring this video. And if you enjoy this kind of content, go ahead and subscribe for more of these. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.